Hello guys, in this video I will talk about new login plugin which UJIT have created. The plugin is super cool, you can see from the features. Right now let's make sure of it. Plugin has free and pro versions. To install the free version click on download button, it will redirect to WordPress login plugin page. Click on this button, the file will start downloading into your computer and you're clicking on add new, upload plugin, may upload that zip file here. Or other way, just search login in the WordPress plugins directory and find this one with the label. Click on install and then activate button. Pro version has some options limitations, so right now we will install pro version and show what kind of features does it have. It gives you recapture, custom login menu, style and design options. To get the pro version, click on any of these buttons, purchase it and the file will also automatically download it into your computer and in the same way you need to upload it here. After you did that, the plugin will ask to activate and appear on this toolbar. To start the work with login plugin, click on dashboard. Let's say dashboard part is the final part. When you have designed your button, you need to take the short codes for login button and sign up button. This small short code will add the simple login button with default settings. Let's check. Go to your post or page. Paste the short code update and in order to check how it looks you need to open your site in incognito browser here you go sign up button with the default settings but you can notice that the plugin also allows to use this one copy and paste the short code to change the following attributes text and show menu if you edit this text here is the button with another text in it. So, the same way we do with the sign up button. Use the short code, add the button short code here. Watch the results. You have two beautiful buttons for the users who may sign up to your website and then log in. These buttons can also be added as a widget on your sidebar. For that, go to Appearance widget section. Here you can see login VP, drag it here. Again, change the title, show menu, yes or no. Any text, save. Let's check, here you go. Hello is written on the text with login title. Plugin also allows to add the buttons to your header, footer or in the content of your template. Use the following shortcodes to put them in any part of your template. For example, if you look at our website, you may see the buttons for sign up and login. This is our plugin. We have added it on the header part from where you may create an account for you. After you have added the button, let's start customizing it. Click on Go to Settings. It will redirect to this page. Settings gives you four tabs. General, Social, Design and Security. Starting with the general one, you can see several tabs with the options. First one is Global Changes. Redirect from Login Page. Selecting this option, you say that after the person has logged in into your page, you redirect him to some new page as instance for my account page. Notify administrator checkbox and administrator email. Here you write your email and every time you get a new sign up, you see it in your emails. As soon as a new user sign up to your website, he'll get a verification on his email. And the text of the verification message can be changed from this place. Redirect to after sign up. 
Once a user clicked on sign up button, fill the information, email, password. He can be redirected to any page. For example, it can be the same home page. Right now it's the same home page, so nothing happened. Redirect to after login. When the person logs in, the website can redirect him to another page. It can be a link to my account page. Enable terms checkbox. You force the user to click on the checkbox to say that he or she agrees with the terms of use and privacy policy and of course change the text here. Next block is for sign up settings. Click this button to accept weak password or remove to force people writing complicated passwords. Sign up button text. Check the text from here, sign up pop-up title. Let's see this pop-up when you click on sign up button. You see join us text here, you can change it or add some subtitle. If you will leave this blank, no subtitle will appear. Login button settings. The text on the login button, the same pop-up title on the login and subtitle. Forgot password pop-up. When the user clicks on Forgot password button, it opens a new pop-up with this text. You can change it. And account options. As soon as the login has been done, you can see your account with the following links to my account page and logout link. So the settings allows you to change the title and the links. Also click add new item to add something new. It may be my purchases. And the link of the page with the purchases. Save settings and let's see. Here you go, a new link. Next block is social. This block allows to sign in and sign up using Facebook account by collecting the information from Facebook account. It can save the time for your users to register or log in. In order to enable Facebook authentication, click on this checkbox. Go to the link which redirects to developers.facebook.com from where you need to create the application. As soon as you create the application, you get the app ID and app secret ID codes, which you need to add here and click on save. After that, under sign up and login buttons, you can see the button which will log into your Facebook page and then log into the website account. Moving to the next tab is design. From the design, you can make any kind of color changes on the pop-up, on the buttons and others. If these options are not enough for you, we offer to disable default CSS and write your own custom CSS codes. Moving to the next security. This section is for the protection from robots and other harmful programs. By enabling the Google reCAPTCHA, you add this type of box here, which the user should check before login or sign up. To enable Google reCAPTCHA, go to this link, fill the information, and go to the reCAPTCHA key and secret keys. Recapture team can be light or dark. After you have set up your desired login and sign up button and pop-ups have added to the page or post, you may start using it. I guess you will like this plugin. If you have any questions, please ask to our support email or write the comment down the video. Thumbs up for it if you like the new plugin.
and follow our channel for new updates. Bye for now!